Governor of Chimbu. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And congratulations on your elevation as the Deputy Speaker. Our Assistant Speaker, I take this time also to praise my Lord and the people of Simbu to speak on the floor of this great house. 83 plus man, like I'm here, so Papa God, the people of Simbu Salim, me one black arm. Mr. Speaker, I direct my short question to the Minister for Trade and Investment, Honorable Richard Maru. I believe there is a delegation of investors here in the country. If they are looking for investments in the agriculture sector, I want to register Karamui in the Simu province as an economical zone in line with Marape Rosso agriculture policy. If they are here for other reasons, can you find investors for me? And realize the simple people's dream of economic empowerment through Karamui. Thank you, Mr. Acting Speaker. Minister for Trade and Investment. I thank you, Acting Speaker. And I want to thank the Governor of Chimbu for a very important question. Um, we don't have a team of investors here. However, we are in the process of undertaking a national study to identify potential special economic zones. So far, my department and ministry have identified 18. And I'm waiting <coughs> for Treasury to release funding so we can undertake the studies over the next four months. It has been in the paper, Mr. Uh, Acting Speaker, that we are engaging the Japanese Development Institute together with some local experts to undertake the study to identify and confirm, screen and rank which provinces and districts have very high, high potential for special economic zones where, where there is potential for major economic activity. Mr. Acting Speaker, I can confirm to the Governor and the people of Chimbo that Karamui has been identified as one of the 18 where we are looking at the study. Certainly the issue of road access, state land, and how do we attract and entice investors to go in and unleash the potential of Chimbu in agriculture are issues that this technical team will assess and determine and basically put forward a roadmap on how we can unlock the, the potential of this very special uh, district in Chimbu. While they are there, I will also ask them to have a look at the prospect for the limestone mine in Chuave. Mr. Speaker, Government has already spent about 10 million looking at that project. When the former Minister for Commerce and Trade and the former member for Chuave and the Chief of Chimbu was in office. At the moment, we are not looking at it as an economic zone because after spending 10 million, we cannot find an investor and really there's nothing too much to show for it. So the challenge is on the governor and the new member for Chuave to help us unlock the potential of that, that project. And uh, I can assure this parliament and the people of Jimbo, I will do everything to, to support this project if we are able to find a credible investor and bring them <coughs> on board and make it a special economic zone so we can provide the incentive to bring them into Chimbo and unlock the, the potential of that province. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 